For question number five, we want to solve the equation by completing the square and then write the answer in simplest radical form. The steps to completing the square are in your notes for lesson 9.5. The first step is to get the left side of the equation in the form x squared plus bx. So here, we want to move that plus 8 to the other side, so we have x squared plus 12x alone. We can do that by subtracting 8, and now we get x squared plus 12x equals negative 8. And then I want you to draw a blank on each side because whatever we add there on the left side to complete the square, we have to make sure that we add the same thing on the right side. That number that's going to go right there is b over 2 squared. Here the b value is 12. So when we do b over 2 squared, that's just 12 divided by 2 quantity squared, which is 6 squared, and 6 squared is 36. So we'll want to add 36 on both sides. That just completed step number two. Now for step number three, we can factor the left side of the equation into the square of a binomial using the same pattern that we just practiced with question four. It will always factor to x plus b over two quantity squared. So here, that would be x, and then the b over 2 value was 6, so we'd have x plus 6 squared, and then that's equal to negative 8 plus 36 would be 28. And now we're ready to move on to step 4, which is undoing the squared by taking a square root of both sides, and don't forget the plus or minus. So we go like this, square root on each side, that's going to cancel out the squared, getting x plus 6 alone here. And x plus 6 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 28. At this point, you should check to see if your square root simplifies. Square root of 28 has a perfect square that divides evenly into it. You can either use the tree or the perfect square method. I'm going to make a tree here quick off to the side. So for square root of 28, I know that 28 is 4 times 7, and 4 is 2 times 2. So we have a pair right there, pair of 2s, and a pair is a perfect square, so we can take out a 2, so plus or minus 2, and then the one that's boxed stays under the radical. That gets us down to x plus 6 equals plus or minus 2 root 7. And now we're one step away here. For step number five, we just need to get the x by itself. Right now, it's x plus six. So to get rid of that plus six, we can just subtract six on both sides. Now, we have x equals negative six plus or minus two root seven as our final answer. And then just find that answer in the multiple choice options, negative six plus or minus two root seven.